and you were ready for it. To know what's coming, check the BBC Weather app. Alex Salmond, Scotland's former First Minister, describes sexual misconduct allegations against him as patently ridiculous. Mr Salmond's taking legal action to challenge the Scottish Government's process over the complaints, which he has described as unjust. Scotland's serving First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, has said the sexual misconduct allegations could not be ignored. I've made clear on many occasions that in all workplaces people must feel able to bring forward complaints and have confidence that they will be treated seriously and now it is important that due process and fair process is followed. Also this lunchtime. Thomas Cook is removing its guests from a hotel in Egypt following the death of a British couple who died while staying at a Red Sea resort. Scott Morrison sworn in as Australia's sixth Prime Minister in 11 years after Malcolm Turnbull was forced out by his party rivals. Donald Trump declares a state of emergency for Hawaii as flash flooding and strong winds hit the US state. We should all abstain from alcohol. A new global study confirms previous research that there's no safe level of alcohol consumption. And coming up on BBC News, Sebastian Vettel tops the timesheets in first practice in Belgium. He's looking to close the gap on Lewis Hamilton as F1 returns from its summer break. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the BBC News at One. Nicola Sturgeon, Scotland's First Minister, has said that sexual misconduct allegations made against her predecessor, Alex Summon, could not be ignored or swept under the carpet. The Scottish Government said it received two complaints against Mr Summon earlier this year. It's believed they refer to events in 2013 when he was still serving as First Minister. Mr Summons denied the allegations and said some of them were patently ridiculous. He is taking legal action to challenge the process of investigation, which he's described as unjust. Well, the government in Hollywood said it would defend its position vigorously. Lorna Gordon has more. She's in Edinburgh for us. Lorna. Yes, it was confirmed this morning. It's now quarter past one. Our top story this lunchtime. Alex Salmond, Scotland's former First Minister, describes sexual misconduct allegations against him as patently ridiculous. Mr Salmond's taking legal action to challenge the Scottish Government's process over the complaints, which he's described as unjust. Coming up, why scientists are calling a census of Wales and Manx shearwater birds as so important. Coming up on BBC News, all the latest from the European Para Athletics Championships in Berlin, where David Devine has added to Great Britain's gold rush today, their top of the medal table. Almost 40 years on from the last papal visit, tens of thousands of people are expected to travel to Dublin to see Pope Francis this weekend. But in the wake of abuse scandals in the Catholic Church, what kind of a welcome will he receive? Chris Page reports. There's a lot going on over the weekend, but there's a plenty of dry, bright weather to be had. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, Mel. Nice Thanks. to see you. All right, before we leave you then, uh, let's have a reminder of our main story this lunchtime. Alex Summons, Scotland's former First Minister, described sexual misconduct allegations against him as patently ridiculous. Mr Summons taking legal action to challenge the Scottish Government's process over the complaints, which he described as unjust. I have not sexually harassed anyone and I certainly have not been engaged in criminality. Uh, the, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm no saint, I've got flaws, I understand that, but these are my assert and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to, to establish that point. 
And Thomas Cook is removing its guests from a hotel in Egypt following the death of a British couple who died while staying at a Red Sea resort. Well, that's all we have time now for the, then for the BBC News at One. It's goodbye from me and the team here on BBC One. We'll join the news teams where you are. Have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye. Good afternoon, you're watching BBC News and I'm Catherine Downs with your very latest sports news. Fernando Alonso says he wants an apology from Red Bull after they denied his claim they'd offered him a drive for next season.